Hello, I'm Jalas Mingangwam giving you the top stories on ISTV News today. President Pranab Mukherjee arrives in Imphal. Governor, Chief Minister, Council of Ministers, Accord President, a warm welcome. And Forest Department turns a blind eye to flagrant deforestation and setting wildfire in the hills. Now the news in detail. President of India Pranab Mukherjee has arrived in Imphal in a special flight. As soon as he landed at the Imphal International Airport, he was given a warm welcome by the Governor of Manipur, V.K. Dugal, Chief Minister O.E. Bobi, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam, other Cabinet Ministers, MLAs and top civil and police officials. The President, along with a long cavalcade of VIPs, went from the airport to the Manipur University by the road. Tight security measures were taken for the visit. The President took part as a chief guest in the convocation of the Manipur University held at the Centenary Hall on the campus of Manipur University. Meanwhile, various underground insurgent organizations had called one day general strike to boycott the visit of the President. As a result of the general strike, all roads in the state wore a completely deserted look. All shops and business establishments remained closed. The Forest Department has turned a blind eye to the flagrant deforestation and acts of setting wildfire in the hills, thus making almost all hill ranges in the state completely bald. Under the circumstances, the condition of all reserve forest areas has worsened rapidly. Moreover, a number of villages or isolated homes have come up in such reserved forests. Among such places is Chinkai Ching situated at Sanjimba village in Imphalis district, about 20 kilometers from Imphal. Though the hill has been declared as a reserve forest area by the government of Manipur, some people have been regularly felling trees and setting fire to the vegetation in the hill. Though there is an office of forest bid officer just about 4 kilometers from the hills, as the office doesn't function properly, nobody looks after the illegal goings on in the hill which is becoming bald. The surrounding of the martyrs memorial located on the Chingmeirong Cherau Ching is worsening day by day. Fencing erected around the martyr's memorial had been uprooted and stolen. A number of trees that were planted to beautify and preserve the environment of the place had been burned and destroyed by unknown people. Some people are regularly indulging in making wildfire in the hill, which is a reserved forest area. As a result, the environment of the hill is deteriorating. Yet the authority concerned has not apparently considered it necessary to take up any action. All Manipur Disabled and Physically Handicapped Development Association has drawn the attention of the authority concerned to fulfill their demands. The demands include renewal of pension allowance, scholarship and unemployment allowances compliant with time. Grant in it should be sanctioned in accordance with time and a training center should be built under it. A separate commissioner should be appointed for the disabled. The authority concerned should translate their demands into action before the association launches agitation. Children's parks, playgrounds and open fields have all been converted to community halls, oil pumps, etc. in the name of development, leaving no place for the children to play outdoor games. In a survey by a team of the ISTV News, Green Gold Park and Resort at Sanjimam, which has been fully established as a tourist spot, attracts only a few visitors. The area in and around the resort has a higher temperature due to deforestation in the adjoining hills. Degradation of the environment has become the main factor for the rise in temperature in the area, thus failing to attract tourists. A playground in the Yaral Konjin Hill has become the office of UFO. A godown has been built on a playground at Kongpal where children used to play football. The remaining space is not spacious enough for the children to play. Education and sports are too close Entities which ma but many of the private and pri primary schools do not have playgrounds. Only a few government schools have playgrounds for the children to play. There are a number of schools in Manipur which don't even have a proper place for students gathering. Construction of community halls in many localities had led to the loss of playground. Only a few students go to Bal Bhavan at Kumanlam Park, which is run under the management and supervision of Social Welfare Department. 
heavy traffic and insufficient parking places near Indira Park Imphal cause inconvenience to the visitors. Similarly, it takes long to enter the historic Kangla. Azam Khan, a senior minister of Uttar Pradesh today, came close to an apology for controversial comments during his campaign, but he doubt at the election commission once again for banning his rallies in UP. The election commission is not above law, he said. The Samaswadi party leader accused election commission of being partial to Amit Shah, a close aide of Narendra Modi who was spared a similar ban after he apologized to the election commission. I replied to election commission, but they did not even wait for it or see it and punished me. They wrote, reply is awaited when it was in their office. Election Commission is not above the court of law in a democracy to make us silent and punish us like this is absolutely wrong. It shows the country that the EC is turning into a CBI. Mr. Khan said, Khan was banned for campaigning in UP earlier this month for saying at rallies that the Kargil War of 1999 was won by Muslim soldiers. Meanwhile, a man set himself on fire and then embraced a BSP leader in Uttar Pradesh, Sultanpur town during a live TV debate on the Lok Sabha election, police said today. The incident occurred last night during Dudashan's Janma 2014 program that was being sought at Tikonia Park. A debate was taking place between leaders of various political parties when a young man, drenched in patrol, suddenly appeared and then set himself afire. He then rushed towards Bahuzan Samas party leader, Kamruzama Fauzi and embrace him. Bora have sustained serious burn injuries. Police said the man, Durges, hailing from Mao district, has suffered 95% burns while Fauzi has sustained 75% burns. Both were rushed to the trauma center in Lucknow where their condition is stated to be critical. Congress leader Ram Kumar Singh and another leader Chowdhury Hride Ram Verma also sustained minor burn injuries while trying to save the duo. A key of a local hotel has been recovered from the man. Police have so far not been able to ascertain the reason behind the extreme step. A day after a party labeled Narendra Modi the butcher of Gujarat, Mamta Banji met a substantial contribution to the onslaught describing the BJP's prime ministerial candidate as an architect of riots whose gyan on development is not needed in our state. If Modi comes to power, India will plunge into darkness, said Banerjee, the chief minister of Bengal. Her party is incensed by remarks made yesterday by Modi at a Bengal rally. He accused her of misgovernance and suggested a painting by her had been bought for 1.86 crores by a controversial entrepreneur, Sudipta Sen, who has been arrested by allegedly running a giant Ponzi scheme that scammed lakhs of small investors. The Election Commission has asked today for a copy of Modi's speech. The Trinamul Congress has demanded an apology from Mr. Modi for his remarks on the painting, which is rejected as false. Campaigning in the hometown of Kargil hero Vikram Vatra today, Narendra Modi borrowed his famous catchphrase to ask for votes, Yedil Mange More. Captain Batra's family was not impressed. BJP must not politicize his name, said his father, GL Batra. At a rally in Palampur in Himachal Pradesh, Mr. Modi said, I want your best wishes. I want to serve you. You have given them Congress 60 years. Can't you give me 60 months? Yedil Mange More, give me 60 months. He accused the Congress of betraying India's soldiers. Where will more Vikram Batras come from? He questioned. The BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate stuck to the script at another rally saying Vikram Batra died for the country. He had said, Yedil Mange More, I say it too. I want all four seats in Himachal. I want 300 lotuses across India. Captain Vikram Batra famously used the phrase from an ad campaign before he died fighting the 1999 Kargil War. He was born in Palambur. A day after some Aam Army Party volunteers were allegedly beaten by the BJP members in Varanasi, Party convener Arvind Kejriwal hit out on Sunday saying the city is being terrorized by the Safran Party. Earlier only, I was being attacked but now even common people are being attacked by BJP's hooligans, he alleged. He also said that the temple town is being terrorized by the BJP. We need more security for the people of Varanasi, Kejriwal said. Claiming that people are scared to vote in Varanasi, he said, central forces need to be deployed there. Before we wind up, let's take a quick glance at the top stories once again. President Pranab Mukherjee arrives in Imphal. Governor, Chief Minister, Council of Ministers accord President a warm welcome. And Forest Department turns a blind eye to flagrant deforestation and setting wildfire in hills. 
that's all for today and thanks for joining us